Greetings. Uh, this is a video that absolutely nobody has asked for, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway because I'm bored. Uh, this is my little guitar corner of Zen, I suppose you could say, uh, in the back of my wife's dining room. I uh, thought I'd share it with you from a different point of view than you're used to uh, watching me. Uh, my wife loves my little guitar corner of Zen. She, uh, she loves all the guitars lined up against the wall and, and shit all over her dining room table. But, uh, you know, it's, it's all I've got. I'm in an apartment. I don't have a, I don't have a studio. I don't have a, an extra bedroom to do all this. So, you know, give me, give me a little corner. That's all I need to keep me happy. And uh, so she does. So she's, uh, she's good about it. Uh, this is my collection. Uh, this time last year, I had, uh, I think I had two guitars. I had the Black Jackson and I had the Classical. And uh, the rest are new or, or new to me. And uh, so I'm, I'm garnering quite a little collection here. Uh, let's have a look at these, shall we? This is a, a Squire, uh, a high-end Squire Stratocaster that I picked up a couple of months ago. Uh, it's from Thailand and it was only released in Thailand. Uh, it's a, uh, a signature model, some guy named Olarn, or Olard, uh, famous uh, Thai guitar player, his signature model. It's a fantastic guitar. You know, I, I picked it up for a hundred bucks and I, I think it's, you know, it's like a six, six or seven hundred dollar guitar. It's a Duncan uh, Hot Rails in it, one volume, no tone. Uh, great for shredding on in a, you know, a Stratocaster style uh, guitar. And, uh, you know, it's humbucker, uh, humbucker single coils, or hum not single coil, but single coil, single coil shape, but uh, humbucker Hot Rails in it. This is my baby. This is my Jackson uh, Performer. This is my favorite guitar out of the bunch. Uh, as you may know, you've seen me play it in probably half the videos I've done. I uh, just love this guitar. I can bash it against the wall and it will not go out of tune and it just plays like a dream. And uh, this is my David Gilmore Parts Caster that I built about a month and a half ago. I was off for a few days, so I picked up, uh, picked up parts here and there from my local online uh, marketplace and put this together for less than two hundred dollars and it uh, sounds amazing i have a video on my uh, on my channel uh, playing some david gilmore on it if you want to check that out uh, a lot of fun building that from uh, scratch and uh, this is another parts caster i built last year that is right now in parts it's unplayable i kind of cannibalized that guitar to to build the david gilmore so there's no springs in it and uh, some of the electronics are gone and the, the one of the pickups is not working and the neck is a piece of crap uh so i gotta get back to that and put that back together uh it's kind of a, a shelby cobra design paint job i did on it and i don't know it looks it's a bit a bit uh, lightning mcqueen i think so i might uh, I might repaint it, I'm not sure. This is the famous picture that, uh, that hangs behind me in all of my videos. This is a, uh, let's see, this is a, uh, this is a Rojano, a very famous uh, picture. This is, this is worth uh, at least $40, $50, uh, lovely painting. Uh, this is my classical. This is my La Patrie Canadian made concert classical. Uh, this time last year, I had four classical guitars. Before I got back into electric guitar, I was kind of obsessing on classical, teaching myself. And uh, this sounded the best of the bunch that I had. And uh, so I sold the rest of them and I kept this one. Uh, this is my Ibanez RGXXV, 25th anniversary uh, RG model with uh, DiMarzio pickups in it and uh, reverse headstock and uh, colored inlay uh, fret markers. Just a beautiful guitar and uh, great for shredding on. My Stratocaster, I love my Stratocaster. Uh, when I first started this project, uh, I was seven or eight solos into, into it before I realized that, my God, I need a Stratocaster. I'd been borrowing one from my friend, Sean, and uh, you know, with, with Eric Clapton and Jimi Hendrix and David Gilmore and Stevie Ray Vaughan, and I needed a Strat, so I went up and picked myself up a Strat and uh, just love it. I never considered myself a Strat guy, never really had the desire to own a Strat, and then once I did, game over. Now I, you know, all my guitars are Strat shaped, but uh, as far as like an actual Stratocaster, uh, now that I have one, I'll, I'll never look back. So my little Blackstar ID Core 20 uh, modeling amplifier, great little practice amp, uh, sounds great at low volume and uh, just a fantastic little amp. Uh, an old Korg multi-effects pedal that I, I used a lot when I first got started. Don't use it a whole lot anymore. 
I uh, use a lot of software now since I'm uh, teaching myself all this stuff. My guitar junk, my uh, crybaby wah and microphones and cables and strings and shit like that. Uh, and this is my little workstation. This is my uh, dining room table filled with uh, everything I need to, uh, to make these videos. Uh, this is all budget gear pretty much, you know, it's a, like budget studio monitor headphones and budget studio monitor speakers and, and a budget audio interface and a budget laptop. And it's not really a budget laptop. It's a, it's a, it's a high end $2,000 laptop, but it's about four or five years old. So I picked it up secondhand for $400. I needed something fast for video editing and, and recording. So, uh, and that's Rio de Janeiro on the front. My wife is from Rio de Janeiro. And uh, we spend a lot of time there. Fantastic city. And, uh, you know, uh, paper for taking notes and pics in my uh, MIDI controller that I need to learn how to use. And uh, that's it. That's my little, uh, my little corner. And I uh, hope you like this little tour. And I'm uh, going to sit down and work on my next honorable mention right now. And I'm uh, going to get to that right now. So you take care of yourselves. And we'll see you next time I uh, sit down to do a solo. Ciao.